everyone find him complaining for steady Eddie is no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. It's just no problem. Can he carry a heavy load? No problem. Can he drive safely down the road? No problem. Can he go long distance? Can he drive all night? Will you make sure the delivery gets there all right? No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem at all. No problem. It's just no, no problem. problem. It's just no problem. No, I can no do it. Problem. I really can. No problem. Absolutely no problem. No, no problem. problem. So ever. No problem. And I'll always do it. With no, no problem. problem. It's just uh, no uh, problem. I'm sorry about that. Top of the class. It was a bright, fresh morning at Steady Eddie's depot. Eddie had already been for his morning shower and was waiting for Freddie Falkley. Where is he? asked Eddie. He'd better hurry up because I have to drive all the way to Scotland today with Jock the tanker. He's going to the oil depots and I'm going to school. Going to school? said Loretta, confused. Trucks don't go to school. Well, not go exactly, but I've got a large delivery of desks and chairs to make to a new school in the Highlands. Oh, I see, said Loretta. All of a sudden, there was a rattling and a clattering heading from the warehouse. Mind your backs, hooted Freddy Corklip and he squeezed his way between the trucks. Time for loading! And he lifted up a whole stack of desks and dropped them down carefully inside Steady Eddie. Hang about, there's more to come! And off he shot, back into the warehouse, tooting his horn as he went. Oh, I don't know where he gets all his energy from, said Loretta. I'm out of breath just watching him. Toot toot, here I come, called Freddy as he shot back into the depot. Chairs! Anyone want chairs? Lots of lovely chairs. I do, said Steady Eddie. Come on, load me up, I've got a long drive ahead of me. Okey dokey, said Freddy, and up went the chairs as he loaded them into the back of Eddie. Have a safe journey, see you soon, and off he shot before Eddie could say thank you. Got to go, said Steady Eddie, driving past Loretta. I'm meeting Jock down the road and I don't want to leave him waiting. So Steady Eddie left the depot and headed off to meet Jock. Jock in the distance. Already unloaded. That's good. You follow me, my wee friend. I'll not drive too fast, but if you're having trouble keeping up, just flash your lights at me, okay? No problem, said Steady Eddie, and he followed Jock down the road towards the motorway. <laughs> oh no, thought Eddie, after they'd been driving for a while. I forgot to fill up the fuel this morning. I've not got enough to get me to Scotland. Hey, Jock! He shouted. I need to stop for fuel! But Jock couldn't hear anything. The motorway traffic was far too noisy. Jock! Jock! Called Eddie again. But Jock just kept on driving. I know what I'll do, thought Eddie. And he flashed his lights at Jock. And, as promised, Jock slowed down. Steady Eddie was now able to catch Jock up and drive alongside. I've got to stop for some fuel, shouted Eddie. I forgot to fill up before leaving the depot. Oh, okay, shouted Jock. There's a service station not far away. You go ahead and I'll follow you. No problem, shouted Eddie, as he overtook Jock and headed towards the service station. Fill me up, please, Eddie asked the attendant as he pulled up to the pump. Okay, said the pump attendant, and he filled Eddie's tank full of lovely fresh diesel. Are you okay for fuel, Jock? asked Eddie Eddie. Oh, aye, I've got plenty. Anyway, who's ever heard of a tanker running out? <laughs> oh, not me, said Eddie. Once Steady Eddie's tank was full, he thanked the pump attendant, started his engine, then followed Jock back out onto the motorway. They drove for many 
miles until they eventually reached a big signpost with two arrows and the words to Scotland written on it. Oh, which way now? asked Eddie as he pulled up to the sign. Well, both roads go to Scotland. One goes up over the hills, and the other one goes down through the valley, explained Jocks. They're about the same distance. Which road do you want to go on? asked Eddie Eddie. Oh, I don't know, said Jock. Maybe the one that goes through the valley, and you can take the other one. That's a good idea. <laughs> I'll take the high road, and you can take the low road. And I'll be a Scotland before ye. <laughs> Laughed Jock. And off he went. Oh, I'll wait for you at the big crossroads where the roads join up again, he shouted. No, I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Laughed Eddie as he headed up the road to the hills. To make that delivery on time Doesn't matter if it's raining You won't find him complaining For steady Eddie it is No problem No problem No problem No problem It's just no problem Will he get there on time? No problem Will his paintwork and headlights shine? No problem Will he be your best friend? Will he be polite? Will he make sure the delivery gets there alright? No problem No problem arrived at the big crossroads, but there was no sign of Jock, so he turned off his engine and waited, and he waited, and he waited even longer. I wonder where Jock is, he thought. I hope he's all right. I'd better go and see. So Steady Eddie started his engine and headed down the low road to see if Jock was all right. It wasn't long before Eddie could see Jock parked up ahead, and the tartan tanker didn't look very happy. Are you all right? asked Eddie, concerned. Oh, yes, said Jock. Have you been in an accident? Oh, no, no, said Jock. Then have you broken down? asked Eddie, Eddie. Oh, oh not exactly. Said Jock, embarrassed. I've run out of fuel. Well, it's no problem. I've got plenty of fuel, and you can have some of mine, said Eddie, as he pumped some fuel from his full tank into Jock's empty tank. Oh, thank you. Right then, to the lorry park we go, said Jock, once he had had enough fuel. Follow me! And off they went. <laughs> Second time I went to Scotland today, <laughs> laughed Eddie as they drove past the sign at the big crossroads. Jock just tutted and carried on down the road. When they arrived at the lorry park, Steady Eddie was very tired. He turned off his engine and gave a big sigh. Phew, I'm glad we're here, he said. Me too, said Jock. I'll love being back in Scotland. I'll have many adventures here. <laughs> Did I tell you about the time I once met the Loch Ness Monster, by the way? But Eddie didn't answer. He was fast asleep. <laughs> oh, well. Never mind. I'll, I'll tell you another time. And with that, Jock shut his eyes and went off to sleep. The next morning... When Steady Eddie and Jock awoke, it was raining. Oh, well, that's Scotland for you, said Jock. One day it's sunny, and the next is raining. Anyway, we'd better get going. You don't want to be late for school. And off they headed out of the lorry park on their way to make their deliveries. The school wasn't too far away from the lorry park, and they arrived with plenty of time to spare. Right then, we Eddie, I'm uh, heading up to the oil refinery, 
I'll be back in a few hours, and we can drive back home together, said Jock. No problem, said Steady Eddie. I'll get unloaded, then go and do a little bit of sightseeing. Catch you later. Wait till then, said Jock, and off he went. I'm so glad you're here, Steady Eddie, said Mr. McHoward, the headmaster, as Eddie drove into the playground. I'll get the caretaker and some of the teachers to start unloading you. We've got to get all those desks and chairs ready before lessons start. No problem, said Steady Eddie as he opened his curtain. Well, actually we do have a problem, said the headmaster. One of the classrooms, 3B, has got a hole in the ceiling. And with all the rain, water is leaking through. I don't really want to put brand new desks and chairs in there until the hole's fixed. That's no problem. You can leave them on me until the roof in 3B is fixed. I don't have to drive home for a while. That's very kind of you. But if we don't get the desks and chairs off you, then 3B will have nowhere to do their lessons. No problem, said Steady Eddie. I have an idea. Later that morning, when the children of Class 3B arrived and went looking for their classroom, they got a really big surprise. Up you go, said the headmaster, showing the children the way to their very special classroom. Today, you're going to have your lessons in Steady Eddie. The children cheered. Being in Steady Eddie was the best classroom ever. At the end of the day, when the hole had been fixed and the last of the desks and chairs were unloaded, Jock arrived for the long drive home. Ready to go? he asked. I'm ready, said Steady Eddie as he drove out the playground towards Jock. Hey, Jock, asked Eddie. What? said Jock. You sure you've got enough fuel to get home? <laughs> enough fuel? laughed Jock. <laughs> enough fuel? <laughs> I've got the whole tanker full. And off they drove down the road on their way home.